All right, so after a long time of not posting anything on YouTube, I'm back and I wanna start off with something kinda of new today. I wanna to share some filmmaking tips that I use every time I go out and shoot, but I don't want it to relate back to gear in any way. So this is less about technical skill and what gear you're using and more about your approach. So a lot of times uh, when I'm running into an issue with a shoot, uh, it really helps to just take a step back. Really just like, Removing yourself from that situation, whatever you're frustrated with, whatever you're having problems with, looking at it from a different point of view, looking at it from the outside, and it really might help with whatever you're kind of stuck up on. The second thing you want to do is you want to plan. You really want to plan ahead and make sure you know what you're going into, but you want to be open to things going wrong because not everything's going to go according to plan, and if something can go wrong, it will. The third thing you want to do is just kind of find a balance. You want to be able to find that balance between work and your personal life. And, you know, if you're working on a project 24-7, you're not going to get any rest from it. And you might, you know, become irritable. You might just... You want to be able to take that break so you can refresh and get new ideas and stuff. So don't be afraid to step back and let the project sit for the night and just get a good night's sleep or something. Because in the long run, that could help a lot more. The next thing you want to do, I think we're on number four right now is you want to take your mistakes and learn from them. Whenever I go on a shoot, I'm always thinking about what happened last time I shot video or last time I took pictures. Every time I'm going into a new shoot, I'm thinking about what went wrong the last time and how I can improve on that. And then after that next shoot, I look back on what I did wrong and I plan for the next time. I'm always trying to build upon what I'm learning. So don't let your mistakes hinder you take them as learning opportunities and use that to build because mistakes I think are one of the best ways you can learn. And the fifth tip I want to leave you with is to just kind of have fun with it. Don't really try and stress yourself out about something not being perfect on the first try or you know after the first round of shooting. You might have to go back and reshoot something. You might have to go back and revisit it and edit later or you know sometimes you just gotta wait for the next project. But no matter what you're doing, just try not to get too frustrated with it and really just have fun. If you're doing what you love, then whatever comes out of it is going to be a good product. Anyway, I hope this helped. Uh, this is something really different for me and I want to do more tutorials kind of like this uh, with editing, photography, and filmmaking. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and I will see you next time.